watch jumping guys this is norms and today we are going to remaster our lenovo flex 14 review so this laptop is more centric into the ultra portable category and also for entry level gaming but is this actually good for students and home users especially on the go we'll see <laughs> So on the box, you can see a traditional Lenovo IdeaPad Eco box that is relatively related to the Lenovo Essential series. And now, as we open the box, you have your power cord and your power brick, laptop unit itself, and also, as but not least, you have your documentations and checklist. So, for the design, it is made out of rubberized plastic finish for both the underbelly and the lid. However, when it comes to its sides, it is made out of plastic and rubber, and it has two color options, either gray or orange. Once opening the laptop, you have an aluminum palm rest and a touchpad which is made out of plastic. When it comes to its screen, you have your 14-inch 768p touchscreen and two Airy mic and an HE webcam. So, for I.O., we have your DC powering, which is square, a ventilation port, HDMI, Ethernet port, and USB 3.0. Next one, the front side, you have your status LEDs, and underneath that front side is your two speakers. And on the right side, you have your power, 1Q recovery, two USB 2.0, a combo jack, SD card reader, and last but not least, your volume rocker. And on the back side, you have your two hinges and a removable four cell battery. So, when it comes to its performance, you will never break down what you can get from this unit. From Core i3 4 Gen up to Core i7 4 Gen processor, which is a ULT, with up to 8GB of RAM from Lenovo, but you can actually up this one to a 16GB. And also, you have an option of AC wireless or a standard wireless that is common on budget laptops. There is also a discrete GPU from Intel HE up to an NVIDIA GeForce 740M. Also last but not least, you have your 500GB hard drive for its traditional config up to an SSD. So my model here has the standard Core i5 4200U with a 500GB hard drive, 4GB of RAM, a 720M graphics, and a standard wireless card. So for the first one, the webcam is actually above average. I can actually stream my gameplay here, which is Five Nights at Freddy's. You can see the quality of the cam and also the mic test. But I'm going to show it to you right now. What is up guys, this is Norms. And today, this is my first time to use a face cam, hello. On the keyboard, it is really comfortable. When it comes to its typing and also the feedback, even though that the keyboard has a short travel, this keyboard is really comfortable. Unlike a lot of laptops that I have been using, this is by far the best keyboard that I ever experienced. But the downside is it doesn't have a backward keyboard, which to me is a bummer for this kind of price. The touchpad is really smooth and responsive. It uses a synaptics driver, which you can use a two hand gestures and also scrolling, zooming, and also rotating. When it comes to its latency and speed um, tracking, it is really smooth as butter. It uses a 14 inch 768p key and panel display, which has a which has an average viewing angles. However, when it comes to sunlight, this will be lower in brightness and it will attract glare so keep that in mind that this laptop is great for indoors so responsive times on that zooming in and zooming out and also scrolling some text or applications the touch screen is way better and it is what is bothered for the sound this one you have a dolby surround sound this is actually an advanced audio that is where the speaker is located underneath. This driver is actually really great when it comes to its quality, it is above average. However, keep that in mind that this is a laptop speaker so don't get your hopes up when it comes to its loudness as it can distort when it comes to high and low frequencies. So here are the sound tests.
for gaming, the 720M can handle some of the decent games at this point in time. However, when it comes to its limitation, the 720M is more likely an entry level card, which I can recommend getting a 740M. So far, when it comes to playing games on 720p, it is likely kinda smooth as butter, but don't expect too high when playing on AAA titles. So last thing for the battery, it uses a 4 cell battery and you will see my caption of the full specs on the battery right there. So this laptop can last at around 6 to 7 hours of battery use if you're using a balance with 0% brightness or even 5% brightness. So far when it comes to gaming, expect this one to go at around 60 to 70 minutes of gameplay. And also if you're using it for daily tasks, expect this one could go around 5 to 6 hours of battery life. So temperature and also fan noise. This laptop can be a little bit loud and whiny when it comes to its full potential when playing games, editing videos, or even music production. However, with a pair of headphones you are okay, but so far when it comes to its cooling capability, it is cool to the touch. So opening up the laptop, you have limited type of upgrades. For the RAM, you only have a one slot, which is you you will not be having a maximum of 32 or so so getting a 16 gigabyte single stick will be your option whereas the next one is an option also to put a Wi-Fi AC or even get an NGFF SSD which is an M.2 M SATA you can see it right here in the video and last but not least is the hard drive which is upgradable to an SSD or another storage if you have the NGFF SSD. So at the end of the day, this is my daily driver laptop for carrying around on schools and also like gaming. However, when it comes to my conclusion, the Lenovo Flex 14 really delivers as an all-rounder machine. For a lot of portable users out there, this is what they always wanted. A thin laptop that doesn't need a really powerful performance on their pocket. Even though you have a gaming laptop that has a superior superb specs, this isn't actually a laptop that can handle that kind of specification. So what is it norms? The Lenovo Flex 14 is a great ultrabook and ultra portable for users who want to go on a travel. More likely, a light gaming can actually handle on what you want to play. So, if you want a convertible touchscreen laptop, a 300 degrees, the Lenovo Flex working really delivers this stuff. But if you want to buy a different kind of convertible, there are a lot out there from asus also lenovo's latest series so anyway guys that wraps up my review if you want to know more you can leave a comment down below leave a like share and subscribe also a huge shout out to kabiti tech actually we did the collaboration video with some youtubers about a favorite software program for video editing Go check that out, subscribe to those dudes, even me. It's really hard to make, but it's really enjoyable. And I hope you guys have a nice day. So that's it for me, I'll see you guys in the next one.